President Muhammadu Buhari has granted pardon and clemency to 2,600 inmates of the custodial centers of the Nigeria Correctional Service as part of measures to control the spread, the spread rather, of the novel coronavirus in the country. We now go joining us live via Skype is Plus TV Africa's Amadine Uyi, who is standing at the headquarters of the Nigeria Correctional Service. Good afternoon, Amadine. Good afternoon, Amaka. Can you bring us up to speed with what is happening with the release of inmates? Okay, today is supposed to be a, a great day for those who have been released. Many of them did not know prior before now that they had made the list. Remember that uh, sometime in 2018, President Muhammad Buhari had set up a committee to look at how they would decongest the prison. But since the advent of the coronavirus, uh, the federal government now thought that it was rather apt to expedite uh, the decongestion of uh, the prison facilities. So around the country, they have identified 2,600 inmates who will be, some will be granted uh, outright pardon, some clemency, but these 2,600 will be released from the prison custodial centers around the country. But however, in Abuja, at the Kujay Medium uh, Security Custodial Center in Kujay Area Council of Abuja, about 70 inmates were identified to be granted, uh, to be granted freedom today. Uh, this is after their, their, their release has been signed by the Chief Judge or uh, the Chief Justice of Abuja. These 70 inmates we are talking about, are they all males or females or a mixture of males and females? Now, they are a mixture of males and females, but specifically, uh, the, specifically the information from uh, the Minister of Interior, uh, Ralph Aragbechola, is that uh, inmates who have been uh, convicted of violent crimes, which include terrorism, uh, banditry, even rape, are not among among these ones and also awaiting trial inmates are not among these ones the 70 are those that the committee have met that have been convicted by a court of competent jurisdiction before now but the committee looked at their sentencing and uh, and acknowledge that, okay, these ones uh, committed lesser crimes and therefore they could be granted pardon. Also, another criteria was their conduct within the correctional uh, service center, uh, how, how they've been of good conduct and also the assurances that when they come out of the correctional uh, custodial center, they will not return back to crime. All right, Amadine, do we know if there will be more to be released in the coming days or do you know how soon that will happen? No, according to the, the Minister of, uh, the Attorney General of, of the Federation, who also doubles as the Minister of Justice, this is just the first phase. After now, the committee will still be sitting. They, are, they have been inaugurated since 2018. But because of the coronavirus pandemic and the assurances from the federal government that the prisons will be decongested to reduce the effect of the spread uh, and also to reduce the ability for the virus to be spread within the custodial centers. So this is just the first batch. After now, the committee will still be sitting uh, and be having one-on-one -on -one with some of the inmates who have been identified by those who are overlooking them in the custodial centers. But for now, in the Kujay uh, Medium Security uh, Custodial Center, 70 will be released by the end of today. Several have already been released. Those who, uh, their, their freedom have been signed by the Chief Justice of the FCT. Amade, what else do we know in terms of, uh, from today, are they going straight home? Are they going straight to their homes? Or are there other procedures? I mean, for those whose uh, release have been signed. No, for those whose release have been signed, according to the prison authority, they are, good, they are as good as free. So they can go straight uh, back home to their family, uh, whatever states they are. But those who were released today will be returning back to their families. No other uh, bureaucracy or office work needs to be done again. I'm not sure whether you were allowed to speak to any of the prisoners, but what was their, what, what, what emotion, what did you see? What, uh, what were they like today when they were asked to walk free now? No, we, we spoke to several of them and uh, 
one thing was that so many of them did not know they had made the list. Uh, some even said that their family do not even know that they will be released. I spoke to one who his family had relocated to Imo State, and he said that his family will really, really be surprised to see that he's one of those who has been granted outright, uh, who has been released. Uh, because there are some who were released and granted outright pardon. Some were just released, go and see no more. While a few of them, they were released, granted presidential pardon, which means that they are on, on their records, it will be that they have never been convicted. Oh, thank you so very much, Amadine, for bringing us up to speed there. Thank you, Amaka. And keep safe.